Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. We're moving on to video four of the master shower build. Uh, let me show you what I've done. Um, I'm just gonna show you bits and pieces of this. I don't wanna show you the whole process. It'd be like a, an hour video. So I've already done some of the tape, some of the mesh tape that you uh, put on the joints where the two boards meet. So let me show you that real quick. And then I'll show you me doing a couple of them as well. Okay, so this here, you can kind of see the mesh. And then I will put my quick set cement right on top of this and smooth it out and get that looking really smooth. So you can see I've done oh, quite a bit. Um, I've even done this corner and this corner. That's done. So I have not done this corner here. You can still see that it's not done. I have not done this corner. I have done this seam, but I have not done that seam and then this vertical seam right here. But I have not done the corners coming up. So I'll have to do those corners coming up. And then look at there. I still gotta put cement board on that. Darn it, I forgot. So if y'all remember my last video, I actually said I have to do that piece up there plus the bench. Well, I did the bench, I didn't do that piece. So we're gonna knock that out too. Okay, y'all should be able to see this seam. Uh, this is just a mesh tape. I'll see if that kind of zooms in a little bit. I'll see if I can get it to zoom in on editing as well. And it's sticky on this back to the roll side. Uh, this is just like if you're doing a like tape, a tape job when you're doing a drywall or sheetrock. Same thing. Very simple process. I mean, you saw how quick that was. And all this does is keeps your cement on the board and keeps your cement from caving in and going inside the seam too much and uh, splitting there. So your cement that we're gonna spread on this here in a little bit will be smooth on here and won't fall through the crack and break and stuff like that. All right, so now I got this seam over here and this corner. Well, I guess it's kind of good I decided to video today so I would show y'all everything and realize I missed a piece. So let's get this piece up here and then we'll have one more piece to do and I'll be completely done with the cement board. So I know that, whoa! I know a lot of y'all are uh, Crandall and Marcy fans over at the Elders Fam. I just got pictures of the baby today, so kind of tell you a reference on where I'm at on this process. The twins were born today. <laughs> screws. Okay, let's get this one up there and we will be good. Okay, y'all, we're on the next day. All the tape is done, and I've actually started to do a lot of the, actually, all, pretty much all of the uh, thin set. Let me show you, I'll bring you in here and show you, but then I left two undone so I can show you how I do them. So here's the thin set, and I've even covered, you know, the screws. A lot of people say that you don't really have to cover the screws. Uh, you can just let your waterproofing cover the screws. I went ahead and covered them with the, with the thin set. Let me bring you in close and just show you kind of, you can still kind of see the mesh through some of this. Uh, like there's a string of the mesh right there. Um, I will come, up, come in and clean some of this up. And there are a couple of spots where I'm gonna have to do two coats. Um, I'm definitely gonna do two coats right here. 
like you can tell I barely did some here because this is where it's kind of low. So I wanted to make sure the first coat got this area. Now I'll come in and, and make sure all this is thinned out and smooth and level. But it's looking pretty good. I did leave this one here and this one here so I could show y'all how I do it. So let me go uh, mix the thin set up real quick, bring it back in here and I'll show you how I get this done. Okay, so we're gonna work on this one. I'll show you how I do this one right here. And then I'll probably do this other one over here off camera. Um, I, I will probably go in and make sure that these screw holes are not sticking up at all. They all feel pretty good. So you want your consistency a little thicker than maybe peanut butter, or I mean a little runnier than, than peanut butter. Just gonna stick, stick some of this on there. Okay, and then you just gonna wipe it across. Pretty simple. A lot of the videos I've watched on YouTube on the professionals that do this, they say to keep your vertical, I mean your horizontal seams around a four to six inch path. And then your vertical seams, not your corners, but your vertical seams like this one that I'm getting ready to do, keep it really small, like a four inch. tell I may have to do a second coat on this one it's a little off and I want it to be level all the way across here so when you tile it's that your tiles level um, if you have big big waves in your board here that's going to show up in your tile so I want to get this as level as I can I, I may need to put these two screws in a little more two or three coats on this because it, it is off especially down here it's it's off at the very bottom of this one it's off a good 16th almost an eighth of an inch you can see i'm scraping across it and it's not even leaving anything there see if these two are done I still think I'm gonna to have to fix this screw hole right here you can probably see it in the video yeah it's just causing me it's causing me some issues right here when I'm trying to scrape across it so that screw is a high point so I'll have to fix that area but I'm definitely gonna to have to do two coats here and then this vertical seam I did Y'all can see how wide I had to come out here, and I only have my four inch knife with me, putting knife, this is just a four inch. I'll have to bring my six inch knife in, maybe even an eight inch knife to get this to level out real well, so that on my tile, it'll be nice and level on the tile job I do. But this one here is doing good, it's still wet right in the middle. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just make sure that this leftover uh, thin set that I have in this bucket. I'm going to go through on this whole entire shower and make sure everything's kind of coated once um, in a pretty good way. Let it all dry and then come back tomorrow, do my second coat, 
maybe even a third coat if I have to in certain areas. Okay, I did it again. So earlier in this video, I talked about, I showed y'all a spot that was left bare. It was still wood and I needed to add my cement board. It's the next day and all this is dry and ready for a second coat, but I realized I forgot to uh, do this one. I even took this down so I could get to this little corner right here and I still forgot to do this with thin set. So we're gonna have to do that first before I come in here and do some second coats on some of this. Yeah, sometimes I wonder about myself. I forget to look up, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get this done and we'll start doing our second coats. Okay, I kind of wanted to show you what I did real quick before I go make my thin set. That was a pretty big gap up here in this corner. So I went ahead and filled this with quick set. So it'll be set up and good in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. That way I can just continue working and I don't have to try to fill that, that big gap right there with thin set. That gap right there, you can kind of see it better now. Okay, so I have started doing the uh, second coat on a lot of this while I'm waiting for that up there to dry, that uh, quick set. It's probably dry enough now that I can work with it or work around it. But I have done some second coats. I did some here, you can see it's still kind of wet. And it doesn't need it everywhere. Like right in here is good. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to put some more here. I did this second coat already. And y'all can see how I feathered this out a little further this direction to make it even across here. So that's done. Um, this horizontal's done. Everything inside the niche box here looks good. I'm gonna have to, I still have to do some cleanup like that's just hanging there. I mean, and then this, I'll have to trim this off probably. Uh, did a little bit here. Probably need to add some there. Uh, so that's what I'm working on now. Um, same process that you've already seen, so I probably won't show any of this. But I'm just going to go around and make sure it's all pretty level. And then we're going to let it dry for 24 hours again. Because uh, this is not a quick set and type mortar or a thin set. So I'll let it dry until tomorrow. But the next time y'all see me will be tomorrow. And we'll start putting on the waterproofing. So I thought I would show y'all me applying some of this uh, waterproofing. And this is Aqua Defense waterproofing. It doesn't really dry much different color than you apply it. It's, it's probably a little darker, it looks like. But it says that you can reapply this after an hour. So I plan on getting all these corners in, waiting an hour, because I'm not going to be able to do anything other than this today. I can't start tile today. So I plan on getting all my corners applied, waiting an hour, doing my corners again, probably, and then start my uh, rest of my walls, rolling them on with a roller. And I know that seems crazy. Why wouldn't I just roll once I was done with this? Well, it's because I don't have a roller. <laughs> so I got to go to the store and buy one says to be kind of liberal with this, you know, and I'm definitely going to do two coats everywhere just to be on the safe side. I've watched videos where people say you only need one coat, but most of the, most of the videos say to do two coats. The three inch uh, brush, pretty simple to use, pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm not in shape, so it does get me a little worn out and tired. Okay, you can kind of see this corner here. That was the very first corner I did. And it's probably been 15 minutes since I did this corner. I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up. Some of the videos just say, go as high as you can reach. There's no need to go higher than that because you're not gonna have enough water up there. But eh, I'll just do the whole thing. Did around the bench too. Did that corner, oh, you know what? I always forget up there. I gotta do those corners real quick. Jeez. Okay, this time I officially have the first coat of the corners done. I did the bottoms down here. And I did the tops. I actually did the top of that old board there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wait an hour, repeat the process. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go pick up a roller. That way, after I hit the corners, this next time around, I can just go straight into rolling. 
the paint onto the walls. Okay, we're getting ready to start putting the waterproof on the rest of the walls. Uh, I just wanted to show you the, the actual tub of this. It's called Aqua De Defense. Aqua Defense. Um, all my corners now do have two coats. I'm going to go through and start on this wall, uh, and then I'll switch over to this wall, and then just work my way around. Man, it's hot in here. Being in this little confined area, I'm breaking a sweat. It's like a sauna. Okay, all I got left is the top of this bench area and then the inside of this doorway area. And I'll be finished with the first coat. Okay, y'all, I've got two coats on this. This is ready to be tiled. Let me bring it in here and show you. The coloring is kind of off in here. But it is waterproofed. And it feels rubberized. Remember to do up there twice. All right, I'm excited. I'm ready to get the tile started. Uh, I actually start back my work set tomorrow. So <clears throat> I'll have to do my tiling on the next set off. So I'll have to wait eight days probably. I may try to get some of this done in the evenings when I get home from work. Um, but I'm gonna start watching some tiling videos. That's what I do. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to do this kind of stuff. Uh, and I just do it myself. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all do that as well. Anyway, hopefully y'all enjoy this little video series I got going on with the master shower build. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. We'll see y'all in the next one. Remember, do the good.